That's awesome. Don't even ask. I know. Oh! I got my head in two right there. Yeah. Cookie cutter. Wow. <laughs> Shit doesn't float. <laughs> well, the skis just hit the water. John, nothing there you in go. Your there pockets. you go. She floated. John, oh. smoke slide on your pockets. No. Nope. Once you got the power behind it, it'll, it'll pick up. Doesn't need the float. Oh yeah. Well, sit down on it. That works, buddy. It's like it's ready. Well, it's more of a tow behind than a, a, a self-propelled, I think. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I broke my seat. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, that's my yeah, that's why it's not floating right. That you broke the toilet seat. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Where's my water? Maiden voyage. Oh my. Okay, well, I didn't show you all the build. Like, there's top secret, top secret information here. But the battery is in the in the cooler. Oh yeah. Well, okay, maybe it's not so top secret. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it click, I hear it click, but I think the prop's on the go. Okay, I'm actually actually trying to hold it up. <laughs> John needs to hold it. No, no, we need, need more flotation in the back. It's a front, front ah! It's a little front floaty. Okay, this should work out fine. Uh, that's why it wasn't working. I'll be floating out there when yeah, these bitches are first, drowned. <laughs> yeah. John floating on his seat, eh? So it turns out he built this just for the beer holder. <laughs> just there in you case go. the tide. Feels like a glove. <laughs> you put your feet up. Your feet dry. You got skis. <laughs> just in case. Oh man. The wave. Jomo's Island. <sighs> Oh. oh my god. Hip hip! Oh yeah! Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Lean wheels on that blue box. Ah. Uh, the blue box. Alicia. Wow, what a fucking crazy animal you have there. <laughs> Didn't push? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fast now. That's fast. A submarine. In a sandwich. Yes. Terry! Well, that was super hilarious. Like, I couldn't take you guys with me because it was pouring rain. But anyway, Gitsubo and I, myself, we paddled from Jomos Island in this thing and it's leaking it's it was, it was hilarious we giggled the whole way like schoolgirls giggle like the weather's got a lot we should have waited maybe 10 minutes it would have been a lot easier like it was impossible to steer that paddle boat impossible anyway i guess i'm all done here at uh, jomo's island for this year till next year probably i already miss it big time now the hard part is to say goodbye to my good friends I already said goodbye to Vedanik. Now I gotta say goodbye to Stefan. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, Thanks miss for coming you. out, eh? Sir, sir. It's been fun, eh? Oh, it was a blast. It's fun, I guess. Like I wanna do it again. One good more night. Question. Every Montreal next year. Yes? Well, we'll do that. Yes. Yep. Can anybody, can anybody guess where I am? Yeah, we're at Gasolines. Um, I need a wiper motor for the blue truck if I'm gonna drive it all the way to Edmonton. That'd probably be a good idea to have a wiper motor, right? 
So there's an old... <laughs> Look, it's a relic! It's a fucking relic! <laughs> so there's that old beater back there, we're stealing the motor out of it. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna miss my old girl, big time. Wow, that reminds me, I don't have a door key for my new white truck in Edmonton. I wonder if my keys are still in here. No, nope. just a... Well, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but uh, I fixed all the holes in the wall. No more holes. Anyway, I got uh, like two days left in Sudbury. I got so much to do, I'm going insane. Well, I have everything I had to do done inside. We're done inside. I just got a bit of a cleaning to do in the yard. Well, some of you might remember my old mailbox. I don't know what that is, but anyway, I even cut a hole in my fence for my mailbox. It was uh, Grandpa Pat. We call him Grandpa Pat because my son calls him Grandpa Pat. It's uh, Shelly's stepdad. Uh, it was his uh, lunchbox. It was full of stickers, Bort Longyear, whatever, a bunch of stickers. I don't know what these stupid asses did with my lunchbox. So the backyard's pretty much mint. Uh, these tarps, well, I'm going to need them. Uh, the bikes, Gitsibo is going to grab them. The barrel is gone. One of uh, neighbor Dave's friend wants them. And I just got to burn off this shit. And Yeah. Oh. Neighbor Dave said he's going to come and grab all this earth. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, it looks like they're tossing another movie in Cyber. I don't know where they're shooting. <laughs> Buddy's <loving it. laughs> Buddy's having lunch in the truck there. I don't see any action anytime I come by. Like, where are they really shooting this movie? Showers. Hmm. Look at all the cable. A lot of copper right there. Oh, what I see. That's a sissy fire. Burn that hole. <laughs> Burn that hole. Well, I come home one day. I mean, home as a, in Gitsibos. I've been here for a couple weeks. Um, I come home to this t-shirt. Uh, Satan Sugarband, Dan Sugarband. He dropped it by. Anyway, uh, I don't know the full story behind it. Uh, Dan Sugarband, he's coming over to Gies right now. So uh, we'll ask him some questions to see what's actually going on with this t-shirt. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not on camera. <laughs> okay, he wants one take for the camera. Okay, we're on uh, Satan Sugar Band's channel. Okay, go back. Check this you out. Go back to the Freudenberger. Peace. Smith got his start playing sofa, learning all the classics and honing his chops on the bar mitzvah circuit, jamming with greats like Fievel Flappy Freudenberger and Paul Pialto Pinto. As it turns out, Smith eventually had to play a bass guitar during the SSB recording sessions because studio engineers weren't able to get a sound from his sofa, even after having it reupholstered. $99.95 per month, but you don't pay till May, only at Hard Sell Furniture Warehouse, at the place by the thing in Kappa's Casing. Well, what is there to do, sir, in Kappa's Casing? Buy furniture. Buy furniture? It's awesome.
All over my arm. <laughs> Spitting all over my shit, man. Look how sad my cooler's looking. Look how sad my cooler's looking. It's it's Gitsi Bo's cooler. I've been using that since I've been here. And look how sad it's looking. He's like, I'll never see Marcel Saint Jean again. Okay, well, you don't have to be sad, buddy. Um, I know you're Gitsi Bo's cooler. But you know what? I'm going to take you from Ontario to Edmonton, Alberta. So don't be sad. Turn that frown upside down. Bridge is going to freeze the beer, man. Freeze that. Oh, I know, that's perfect. Hanging out with Marcel St. Jean, chilling, smoking some. Haven't seen him in a while. Like his videos. Who is not a bad guy? Marcel St. Jean, the fucking worst guy. Like... Do the video about that's your it. shirt. That's what we were supposed to do. I know, but we'll, we'll incorporate. The song into the shirt. Nope. No. I will play one for you though. This is an old song. Some of you may recognize this one. It's called Ode to Harry. Turn the key, and he started up and headed down the LIE. Too cheap to own a real car, he had a Volkswagen Rabbit, and that put an end to Harry's cheap habit. The trucker couldn't stop, so the driver took aim, and when he hit Harry, Harry burst into flames. Help me out if you know this. Okay. You're dead now, Harry. You're dead now, Ooh, and you won't come back. You'd still be alive if you drove a Cadillac. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows that one. <laughs> okay, I was shopping at Value Village because I hate spending too much on fucking shitty clothes. So I spent a little bit on shitty clothes. So I was at, I was at Value Village going through the shirts and I see this and I see that shirt right there. I go, St. Jean Subbury. I ain't ever seen no business St. Jean Subbury anywhere in this town. But I know Marcel St. Jean, and he's very much associated to Subbury. So I said, you know what? I might not wear this t-shirt, but Marcel sure as fuck will. Yeah. So I picked it up. I think it was $3.99. <laughs> only $3.99. <laughs> but way cooler than that is the custom, one-of-a-kind, one, only one ever made of his Marcel St. Jean roast t-shirt. That's a cool shirt. That's hanging in my closet. Nobody has that. You have that. It's in my closet. I didn't even make a second one for me. Uh, that is a one of a kind.